Hello friends, welcome to this video on two dimensional random variable. In this video we are going to see to solve a problem on the discrete case. Uh, we will be trying to cover finding about various kind of probabilities for a discrete two dimensional random variable. We will move on to the problem. The problem is you have been given with x and y. We have been asked to find a series of quantities like x less than 1, y less than 3 x less than or equal to 1 by comma y less than or equal to 3 x less than or equal to 1 conditional y less than or equal to 3 y less than or equal to 3 conditional x less than or equal to 1 and probability of x plus y less than or equal to 4. We will try to estimate all of these. So the first step in solving any quantity on a two dimensional discrete random case we need to find what are going to be the marginal values of the uh, x and the random variable y. We know that we can find the marginal value of x by keeping the value of x fixed and varying the values for y. And the marginal values of y can be estimated by keeping the values of y fixed and varying it along the x values. So we have seen about finding the marginal values uh, uh, in a detailed manner in our last videos. So we will try to quickly add up to the data and see what are going to be the marginal values of x and marginal values of y. So now having estimated the values for your marginal of x given by p of x, how do you do it? Keep your x equal to 0 fixed and estimate the values of y adding along the row. Keep your x equal to 1 fixed, add it along the row so you will have 5 by 8. Keep your 2 fixed and add it along the uh, row to you will have 1 by 8. We have already seen about the tip to find how to add up the fractions using your calculator. If not, please refer to the video and check it one more time. Use your A, B by C button to effectively estimate the value of fractions. Then this will be easy for you in the examination point of view. Now we have the marginal values for our X and the marginal values for our Y. Having got the marginal values, we will quickly move on to find the probabilities which has been required in the question. So the first question asks us what is going to be the probability of x less than or equal to 1. So having to find x less than or equal to 1, we know that the x takes the values. What are the values taken by x? x takes the values 0, 1, 2 and less than or equal to 1. What are the quantities less than or equal to 1? So this gives me probability of x equal to 0 plus probability of x equal to 1. Now which forms probability of x equal to 0 for us? This is my probability of x and x equal to 0 is over here. Probability of x equal to 0 is going to be 1 by 4. So the first quantity is 1 by 4 plus probability of x equal to 1. This is my x equal to 1. Probability of x equal to 1 is 5 by 8. So it is going to be 1 by 4 plus 5 by 8. So this adds up to take out a calculator, uh, enter the data and press this A, B by C button. You will have the answer in decimal. When you press this button, the decimal gets converted as fraction and you can find your answer to be equal to 7 by 8. Moving on to the second subdivision. What we have in the second subdivision is probability of y less than or equal to 3. Now the values taken by y are y takes the values 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. You want y to be less than or equal to 3. Starting from 3 the values less than or equal to 3 are 1, 2, 1, 3. So you can write this as probability of y equal to 1 plus probability of y equal to 2 plus probability of y equal to 3. Now how to estimate this probability of y equal to 1? This is got from our marginal values of y. Now y equal to 1 is over here. Probability of y equal to 1 will be given by this value. What is this? Now probability of y equal to 1, it is going to be 3 by 32. Next value probability of y equal to 2 which is going to be probability of y equal to 2. This is going to be probability of y equal to 2 over here, probability of y equal to 2. So this is again 3 by 32. And the third value probability of y equal to 3. This is my y equal to 3. Probability of y equal to 3 can be got from over here 11 divided by 64. So now having got these values, take your calculator, add them up and find what is going to be the addition of all these three fractions. And now you can see that this lands up to be 23 by 64. 
so this now completes our first two subdivisions moving on to the subdivision number 3 what is our subdivision number 3 asking us subdivision number 3 wants to find x less than or equal to 1 comma y less than or equal to 3 we have to keep in mind a comma over here in a two dimensional random variable represents and so what does this say we need to check what are the criterions for x less than or equal to 1 and together with y less than or equal to 3 now x less than or equal to 1 what are going to be the chances we can take it can be 0 it can be 1 now for y less than or equal to 3 the chances are 1 2 3 now we need the combination of both x and that of y so when we try to pair each of these x with each of these y then we will be generating the following so now x pairs with 0 so you write it as p 0 1 this 0 pairs with 2 so you will have p 0 2 next 0 pairs with 3 so you will have p 0 3 the next thing is that now this 1 has to pair with 1 so you will have p 1 1 next one pairs with 2 so it has p 1 2 and one can pair with 3 so you will have p 1 3 now from the table let us fix all these probabilities go find and estimate the data for this quantities so now p 0 1 x is 0 y is 1 p 0 1 this value turns out to be equal to 0 so the first term is 0 next p 0 2 x is 0 y is 2 the answer is going to be equal to 2 0 over here okay next move on p 0 3 x is 0 y is 3 so the fraction over here is 1 by 32 next p 1 1 x is 1 y is 1 what is going to be the probability 1 by 16 next 1 2 x is 1 y is 2 this fraction now turns out to be 1 by 16 and p 1 3 x is 1 and your y is going to be 3 and the position over here represents p 1 3 and the fraction over here is or the probability is 1 by 8 now use your calculators to find the addition of all this fractions and now you can see that the answer now turns out to be 9 divided by 32 9 divided by 32 so now this comfortably completes the first three subdivisions of our problem moving on let us find the fourth subdivision what is required in the fourth subdivision you want x less than or equal to 1 condition y less than or equal to 3 having completed the first three division the remaining quantities are going to be very easy for us we will see how we can go about them so now what we want is probability of x less than or equal to 1 condition y less than or equal to 3 now use your uh, property that probability of a condition b the formula is probability of a intersection b divided by probability of b now when we apply this quantity to this given question treating this x less than or equal to 1 as a and y less than or equal to 3 as b now we get this as probability of x less than or equal to 1 intersection y less than or equal to 3 divided by probability of y less than or equal to 3 we know that in it comes to one two dimensional random variable your intersection can be replaced with that of a comma okay so i can replace this with a comma so now what happens to this this becomes x less than or equal to 1 comma y less than or equal to 3 divided by probability of y less than or equal to 3 we have just estimated the numerator value in our previous slide so what was x less than or equal to 1 comma y less than or equal to 3 now we know that the value is going to be 9 by 32 go fix this data in the numerator so we know that it is going to be 9 divided by 32 divided by how about the denominator this probability of y less than or equal to 3 was also estimated for your second subdivision and the answer was 23 divided by 64 so you can fix this 23 divided by 64 over here now this on simplification will give you the answer to be equal to 18 divided by 23 now moving on to your fifth subdivision what is going to be in the fifth subdivision we know that 
the fifth subdivision asks us to estimate y less than or equal to 3 condition x less than or equal to 1 which is just the opposite way around of our problem number 4 y less than or equal to 3 condition x less than or equal to 1 but the formula still remains to be the same what is going to be the formula which we are going to apply we are going to apply probability of a condition b is probability of a intersection b by probability of b now when we apply this quantity then what happens to the question which has been given to us now this becomes probability of y less than or equal to 3 intersection s less than or equal to 1 divided by probability of x less than or equal to 1 as we said this intersection over here can be replaced with a comma so this gives me y less than or equal to 3 comma x less than or equal to 1 divided by probability of x less than or equal to 1 now moving on I know that this can be rearranged as x first and then y next because a intersection b is the same as your b intersection a. So we rewrite this of the format x less than or equal to 1 comma y less than or equal to 3 divided by probability of x less than or equal to 1. Having estimated this, we know that the numerator is nothing but the answer for our subdivision number 3 which we got as 9 divided by 32. And then the denominator is nothing but x less than or equal to 1 which was estimated in the uh, first step as x less than or equal to 1 is 7 by 8. So now dividing it by 7 by 8. So you have 9 by 32 divided by 7 by 8 and finally this makes the answer as 9 divided by 28 completing the answer for subdivision number 5. Now moving on to the last quantity x plus y less than or equal to 4. So we want probability of the sixth one probability of x plus y less than or equal to 4. So when I had the values of the random variable x with that of the random variable y now the condition is that if I am going to get a number which is less than or equal to 4 then I consider those value if not then I ignore this value. So what happens over here let us first write the values taken by x. x takes the values 0, 1, 2 and what is the values taken by y? y takes the value 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Now we need to see which combinations or uh, when x we add it with y will give me a value which is less than or equal to 4. Okay, so 0 with 1 is yes. 0 plus 1 is less than or equal to 4. So I take the pair 0, 1. So I consider p 0, 1. 0 with 2, 0 plus 2 is less than or equal to 4. So I consider p 0, 2. Next, 0 with 3. 0 plus 3 is less than or equal to 4. So I consider P03. Next 0 with 4. 0 plus 4 is less than or equal to 4. Equality holds over here. So I consider P04. Next 0 with 5. 0 plus 5 will be equal to 5 which is less than or equal to 4. No, this doesn't satisfy. So I ignore it. 0 with 6. 0 plus 6 what happens? Is it less than or equal to 4? No, this is not true. So I ignore it. Now the combination with 0 is over. Now you go on with the combination with 1. So now 1 pairs up with 1. Now 1 pairs up with 1. P11. 1, 1. 1 plus 1 is going to be less than or equal to 4. Yes, this is true. So I add P11. 1, 1. Now 1 pairs up with 2. 1 plus 2. Is it less than or equal to 4? Yes. So I use P12. 1, 1 pairs up with 3. 1 plus 3. Is it less than or equal to 4? Yes. It is equal to 4. So I consider P13. Next I pair with my 4. 1 pairs up with 4. 1 plus 4. Is it less than or equal to 4? 1 plus 4 makes it as 5. So this is not going to be true and hence I ignore it. Now going on with 1 plus 5 and 1 plus 6. Is it true? No, it is not going to be less than or equal to 4. So I ignore these two quantities. Now coming to the last random variable, the last random variable is going to be my 2. Let 2 pair up with 1. So 2 plus 1, is it less than or equal to 4? Yes, this is true. So let me add P21. 2, 2 plus 2, 2 plus 2, is it less than or equal to 4? Yes, equality holds over here. So let me introduce this P22 also. 2 with 3. 2 plus 3 will be equal to 4. No, this is going to be 5. So it is not less than. Again, 2 with 4. 
2 with 5, 2 with 6. This all of them are going to be quantities which are going to be greater than 4. So I ignore all this quantity. So the existing pairs which satisfy the condition x plus y is less than or equal to 4 are these combinations of 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, 0, 4, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 2, 1 and 2, 2. Now go on to your matrix over here. Find all the elements that is going to be listed over there in our combination that satisfies less than or equal to 4. When we add up all the data, we will be getting our required result. So, we will move on to find these elements. So, what will be the combinations over here? P01. So we have P01, P01 is going to be equal to 0, the second quantity P02 is going to be 0, P03 is going to be 1 by 32, P04 0, 4 is going to be 2 by 32, next comes P11, X is 1, Y is 1, P11 is going to be 1 by 16, next P12, 12 is going to be 1 by 16. Next P13, 13 three is going to be 1 by 8. Next comes P21, 2, 1. Two, 1. P21 is going to be 1 by 32 and P22, two, two. X is 2, Y is 2 is going to be 1 by 32. Now add up all the data which is available over here. You can check that the answer turns out to be 13 divided by 32. This can be best estimated using your calculator in the A, B by C mode because that helps you to estimate a fraction in a much faster way. Thank you.